A few years ago, I couldn't blink without running into content from all sorts of health influencers making the excited thumbnail face and pointing to a bottle of apple cider vinegar. And don't you dare look at my thumbnail. I'm totally unique and not at all doing the same thing. Okay, let's move on and quickly. Uh, the point is, health influencers talked about it incessantly and talked about it like it'll regrow limbs. And if you're a certain type of frog, that might be true. But at any rate, I was asked many times to cover it. And in true selfish fashion, I ignored the comments. No, I was just uh, swimming in work and couldn't motivate myself to look into yet another gimmick. But is it really a gimmick? Am I just being a prick? Don't answer that. For those apple cider vinegar uninitiated, it is fermented apple juice. Essentially, with the help of yeast and bacteria, the contents of apples are converted biochemically to vinegar. So the idea is that if you consume it regularly, it'll positively affect your health, especially blood sugar improvements. But we'll also discuss the effect that it has on triglycerides, blood fats, and cholesterol-containing lipoproteins. All three, if overabundant, are linked to diseases like cardiovascular disease, like heart attacks, peripheral artery disease, and also type 2 diabetes. So for that, we lean on this meta-analysis of nine randomized controlled trials. In this analysis, the researchers limited their inclusion to adult men and women, and studies had to last at least two weeks, as well as only used apple cider vinegar. Of note, the control groups, or the comparison groups, were not always placebo-controlled. Also, the analysis included mostly studies in type 2 diabetics, but also included some in non-diabetic and generally healthy individuals. So, what did they find? Well, let's give these data a whirl. This is for blood glucose, or blood sugar levels. If you've been with Physionic for a while, you can uh, skip ahead a bit because you know how to read this. I'll meet you at this timestamp with the newly statistics indoctrinated. Okay, so we see that the study's on the left side, and then you can see the results on each study, including average results as well as the spread of the data called a standard deviation, and some additional information on each study. That's all the numbers there. You don't need to worry about that too much because we can conveniently look at the graphics on the right side, which represent all of the numbers. So if we focus on that, you see the uh, line above zero? That's the neutral line. If the studies indicated in green boxes and lines move to the left, it favors apple cider vinegar having an effect. And if it moves to the right, and it indicates apple cider vinegar worsens blood glucose or blood sugar. That black diamond is the main effects diamond, incorporating all of the studies together. Clearly, it moves to the left, which indicates apple cider vinegar is effective in reducing blood sugar. I'd like to come back to this, though, because there's something here that we should consider. For now, let's go into the cholesterol levels. Cholesterol molecules are packaged in these uh, lipoprotein particles, and if these particles are too abundant, it also is linked to heart disease, generally. Here, we're looking at LDL, or low-density lipoprotein, data. Now, we can see that the black diamond seems to be in the middle, and the statistics indicate that this is the case. That means there's no effect of apple cider vinegar on LDL-C. Interestingly, there's a small drop in total cholesterol. But what about the other metrics like triglycerides? Before we get to that, the researchers compared different doses, which were typically 15 to 30 milliliters, to see if more was more potent, including if a person was diabetic or not, and if that changed the effect. The extended version of this video covers all that data, and you can actually find that video as just one small piece of my premium research review called The Physionic Insiders, including many more videos, summaries, a podcast, articles, and more. It's all linked in the uh, description of this video if you're so inclined. Triglycerides are an interesting finding because, well, look at it for yourself, you health sleuth you. Pay special attention to the horizontal axis. We're measuring in the hundreds. So apple cider vinegar does improve triglycerides and certainly 
seems to provide more benefit than the other metrics. I say that because the blood sugar metric that we looked at earlier, the effect was around eight points, which isn't shabby, but it's not as significant as triglycerides sitting around 33 point drop. In addition, the researchers performed a sensitivity analysis wherein they removed each study from this analysis and reanalyzed the results. And even when removing this one study pulling the analysis to the left, in favor of apple cider vinegar, the effect was still around 20 or so units, and the confidence of the analysis improved. Now, let me temper things a bit here, because keep in mind that many people with type 2 diabetes have elevated triglycerides, and in severe cases, that can be many hundreds of units. So a 20 or 30 point swing is a pretty modest drop. It's not nothing, but it's not like we're necessarily dropping someone from 150 units to 120. It could be a person sits at 400 milligrams per deciliter or units and still sits extremely elevated at 370 after consumption. And this might also explain why there's a lot of heterogeneity or difference between the effects recorded in the studies. Beyond that, apple cider vinegar had no effect on HDL cholesterol, fasting insulin, and HOMA-IR, as seen here. This is HOMA-IR, a metric of insulin resistance that we normally want this to go down. You could argue that the diamond leans to the left, but statistically, it's not significant. Now, in defense, this particular analysis only has three studies, not the full nine studies, which would affect if we can actually detect an effect here. So maybe with more studies, we'd be able to detect an effect. Still, as it stands, there's a mild to no effect on HOMA-IR. Also, one more thing. The researchers fail to include in their search for studies the database that houses studies that were not published for various reasons. It's possible that we're missing studies that don't show an effect and they just weren't included here. So the takeaway here is that maybe we shouldn't be making thumbnails acting all shocked about apple cider vinegar. Even with all these caveats, it does seem to provide an effect reducing blood sugar and total cholesterol and triglycerides. But I would estimate the effect is quite small and there are many other consumables that have greater effects like this one. See how I'm making the shock face? It should be convincing to you to click on that video because I'm so blown away by the results. Maybe if I slapped a, I lost a hundred kilograms in two hours, it'd be more enticing. But you aren't that gullible though. So I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.